Namaskaram. Welcome to the course Basics of Electronics. In this video, I'll be discussing about five important topics. First one, what is a resistor and what are the need of resistor in electronic circuit? Second one, the fundamental engineering applications of resistor in electronic industry. Third one, we will be explaining the applications of a resistor in three different examples. Fourth one, how to calculate the resistance value and its power rating. Fifth one, how to select one resistor for your application and what are the types available in electronic industry. So let's start. What is a resistor and why it is needed in electronic circuit? Resistor is an electronic component which is passive in nature which is meant for limiting the flow of electrons in an electronic circuit. It is also called as impedance in wireless communication boards. It is made up of epoxy resin and special conducting materials. The SI unit of resistance is ohms. Based on the value, we will be adding a prefix to it like kilo ohm, mega ohm or milli ohm. Now let us talk about the need of resistor in electronic industry. If you are connecting any LED to a 5 volt power supply, you cannot connect it directly because excessive current may damage the LEDs like anything. Instead of that, we will be adding a one current limiting value resistor in between so that we can limit the flow of electrons and control the brightness of the LED. That is how most of the LED screens and all display devices are controlled. If you consider one more example which is more popular that controlling the speed of fan. We all have a ceiling fan or wall mount fan. If you want to change the speed of those fans, what we do? We change the regulator. Those regulators are nothing but the sequence of resistors kept inside. Or maybe a potentiometer which is nothing but a series of resistance. The fundamental applications of a resistor. If you ask me this question, then it is going to be a very detailed one because resistor is everywhere. If you consider a small PCB available just near to you, you will find at least 5 to 10 resistor now. If it is an advanced electronic system like a camcorder or maybe a laptop or mobile, then obviously it will be having hundreds of resistors everywhere. A resistor is very essential component in case of timing, in case of speed control, in case of current control, so many applications. So there are so many applications which are necessarily need to be derived from the resistor value like speed control of motors or brightness control of any LED TV or LED devices. Even if you consider electric vehicle technology which has a numerous application with respect to the speed control of BLDC motor. Again, it is directly or indirectly controlled because of the flow of electrons or flow of the current. That is nothing but a principle of blocking by resistance. Let us talk about the three widely used applications of a resistor. First one, voltage divider circuit. Most of the electronic students are very much aware of this particular circuit, especially when you are doing a DIY projects. Voltage divider circuit is nothing but dividing the voltage from one level to another level. We cannot call it as a level shifter directly, but indirectly it can be used as a level shifter. Say for example, you have an electronic circuit or maybe a sensor which will be generating a 0 to 12 volt of voltages based on the sensing value. Then you have one microcontroller or a development board which works at 3.3 volt. So if you connect the output of this sensor directly to this microcontroller, it will harm that particular microcontroller directly. Instead of that, we will be using a voltage divider circuit in between to step down the sensor voltage from 0 to 12 volt to 0, 0 to 3.3 volt. Now you can see on the screen, this is how the voltage divider circuit looks like and also this is what the formula used for calculating the R1 and R2 value. With an example, if I explain you, you can identify that R1 and R2 value are directly proportional to the value that you want to degrade from high level to low level. Second classic example is current limiting resistor. We know that most of electronic gadgets are having a blinking LEDs, maybe so called status LEDs. 
As I already mentioned, without controlling the flow of current to such LEDs, it will damage that particular LED straight forward. Instead of that, what we will be doing is we will be adding one series resistance to that particular LED to control the current. The value of this particular resistor is directly calculated by using Ohm's law. Not only to this particular status LEDs, most of the electronic circuits are having a current limiting resistor which will help them to avoid damaging in case of excessive current. There is no such cases where the source itself is having a less current than the maximum current of any circuit. That's why we always take protection by using a resistor in case if we want to protect by limiting the current. Now let's talk about the third example that is current sensing resistor. This resistor is very special case resistor and widely used in dynamic control method. For example, we have one DC motor which rotates at 1000 RPM. Now you want to control the speed of this motor without any manual intervention. Then how do you do that? Of course, you have to identify what is the RPM at which it is running right now. And how do you calculate that RPM? There are two methods for that. One is using a mechanical sensor like a rotary motion sensor or rotary encoder. And second one is identifying how much current is being consumed by that particular motor. Based on that, you can identify at what RPM the motor is rotating right now. And that is done by using a current sensing resistor. These resistors are always in milli ohms and it helps us to identify what is the current is flowing in that particular path by a very little voltage drop across them. And then we will be deciding at what frequency or at what PWM signal we will be controlling the speed of motor. How to calculate a resistance value and its power rating? I think this is the one of the basic calculation method in entire electronics. If you are dealing with the basics of electronics, then calculating a resistance value is straightforward. But if you are dealing with a wireless communication system, which deals with the impedance and all, then it is very complex method and very great skills to have. But now let's talk about how to calculate a resistance value by providing a voltage and current rating. Say for example, we want to add a resistor for a LED. And by using Ohm's law, it becomes very straightforward, which is nothing but R is equal to V divided by I, wherein V is a source voltage or the potential difference between the two points where we want to add a resistor. And I is the current, amount of current that we want to allow by using this particular resistor. Now let us talk about how to calculate the power rating. Formula is pretty straightforward. That is P is equal to I square R. I being the maximum amount of current that you would like to flow through this particular resistor. And obviously R is the resistance value. By using this particular formula, we can identify what is the maximum amount of power that can be dissipated through this particular resistor. This power rating is very essential in case of current sense resistor and also in power electronics. Based on the application and the requirement, we will be changing the power rating of resistors in every application. However, the quarter watt resistor is most general and most widely used in electronics. What are the different types of resistors available in industry and also how to select one for you? Let us say for example, if you are designing any compact electronic device, then of course SMD resistors are more important. SMD stands for surface mount technology and there is one more type of resistors called a through hole technology. Through hole technologies are nothing but a larger in scale with the same features. For more details about through hole and SMD components, you can check my another video link in i button here. If you are selecting a resistor for voltage divider circuit, then of course a normal general purpose resistor is sufficient for you. Say for example, half watt resistor or quarter watt resistor. Most probably quarter watt resistor is widely used. If you are selecting a resistor for current limiting devices, based on the amount of current that flows through that particular resistor, you have to select a specific wattage resistor like 1 watt, 2 watt, 5 watt. If you are selecting a resistor for current sensing devices, then of course, minimum 1 watt resistor is essential in power electronics. Again, it is also depends on the power calculation, which cannot be described in a general like this. You have to calculate the power value of that particular resistor and then you have to select the specific wattage of that particular resistor. 
If you are selecting a resistor for very accurate or very sensitive devices, then a tolerance is also one more parameter you have to consider. Tolerance means the amount of deviation or amount of variation with respect to resistance value by means of thermal drift or maybe any other reasons. 5% is a general industry standard wherein you will also get a 0.1% tolerance as well as a 10 to 20% tolerance in case of through hole technology. This is how you select the resistor for a specific application. Of course, based on the application, you have to understand which type of resistor to be selected and what value to be selected. Very sensitive information it is. I hope you enjoyed to know about all these information related to resistors in electronic industry. See you again in next video. Until then, happy learning. Namaskaram.